Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This video is an introduction to the Laplace transform, and here we will learn the basics. As we have learned in the phase domain or in the phase transform, that a time domain signal is transformed into the frequency domain, which we call phase domain. And then we solve the problem in the frequency domain and then if need be we transfer it back into the time domain. Same way in the Laplace domain we also do exactly same thing. The technique is different that the time domain signal is transformed into what we call now the complex frequency domain. And then we solve the circuit in the complex frequency domain and then we take inverse Laplace transform to come into the time domain. And we can see this from an example of a blacksmith. The black iron which is we call in time domain is put through heat. So we transform it into frequency domain and then we process, we hammer it, we give it shape and then we let it cool down, it becomes again black, that is it comes into the time domain. Now the one advantage of Laplace transform is that it is, it converts differential equation into algebraic ones and so it becomes very easy to solve the differential equations through Laplace transform. Now let's see the definitions. We have time domain and complex frequency domain. If a function is ft, which can be any value, we'll see this, then we can transform into the frequency domain or complex frequency domain, or uh, we call Laplace transform, by multiplying that signal. The signal is multiplying by e raised to the power minus st and then we integrate from 0 to infinity. So this is the Laplace transform technique. Where S is the complex frequency. And this is the real part and this is imaginary part. And we can see from a diagram, you know, this is the real axis and this is imaginary axis. So any point in uh, anywhere on this is the complex uh, frequency. So like here it is 2 in the real axis and 2 in the imaginary axis so 2 plus 2i or 2j. And similarly here it is 4 on the real axis and minus 3 on the imaginary axis. Now, when we say that we want to have a Laplace transform of a function ft, we write it with L. We also call it capital Fs, that is, this is the transform. This is in the uh, Laplace form. And so we can also write that the Laplace of the signal ft, which is Fs, is integral of ft e minus st dt, which is the same thing. So there are a couple of ways it is written. Now let's do an example 15.1. We have to determine the Laplace transform of each of the following functions. So this is a unit function, this is an exponential function and this is a delta function or uh, 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 impulse, impulse function. So let's do the first one determine the Laplace transform of ut. So let's first of all define what is ut. So unit step function called ut is defined as, let's see from this diagram, the signal is 0 for less than 0. That means ut is equal to 0 for t less than 0. And then at t 0 and greater than that, it becomes 1. So ut is equal to 1 for t greater than or equal to 0. So with this definition, now we want to use this formula to find the Laplace transform of ut. So Laplace of ut can be written as integral 
the value of the function. Now ut is 1 because we are taking from 0 to infinity. So 0 to infinity, that is this side, its value is 1. And ft is 1 multiplied by e minus st dt. And if we take integral of e, e minus st, it will give 1 over minus s multiplied by e raised to the power minus st and then we put the limit 0 to infinity. Now at this point I would just like to clarify some students have doubt what is e raised to the power minus infinity means. So e raised to the power minus infinity can be written as 1 over e raised to the power plus infinity and anything to the power infinity will become infinity. So it is 1 divided by infinity and 1 divided by infinity is equal to 0. So always remember that e raised to the power minus infinity will be equal to 0. So now let's plug in the value. So first of all we put the t is equal to infinity. So we get something like this which will be 0. So 1 minus s multiplied by 0 and then we put t is equal to 0. So e raised to the power 0 is equal to 1. So it is 1 over s multiplied by 1. So our final answer is 1 over s. So this is the result. Now these are basics so we have learned how to uh, calculate this but subsequently we will be just using whenever we have to find Laplace transform of ut we will write the value 1 over s. Okay the um, second example was e raised to the power minus e a t u t where alpha is or a is greater than 0 that means this a is positive not negative and just to give you an idea if we do not multiply with ut then the function will be looking like this the plot but the moment we multiply it by ut that means we uh, the function becomes 0 for less than 0 because ut is 0 and on this part ut is 1 so 1 multiply by this function so this is the function e a t u t now let's solve take the laplace with this formula so laplace of e minus a t u t is integral e a t and we multiply it by e minus st. Now this ut uh, you don't need to write anymore because we are already taking the limit from 0 to infinity which covers ut and this can be since both are power of e so we can add them and now we can use the formula of integral so it will be 1 over s plus 1 minus sine and e raised to the power minus SAT and the limit 0 to infinity. So we know that for power infinity this will become 0 and for power 0 this will become 1 as we did in the previous example. So our final answer is 1 divided by S plus 1. Let's for example here we have to find the Laplace of the impulse function delta t. Let's define the impulse function. Now impulse function is a function whose value is 1, whose value is 1 at t is equal to 0. So only at t is equal to 0. At all other places the value is 0. So with this definition, the Laplace of delta t integral of delta t e raised to the power minus st dt and now since this has only one value at one particular point that is t is equal to 0 therefore there is no need of writing the integral now we can just plug in the value of 1 at t is equal to 0 and this becomes e raised to the power minus 0 which is equal to 1 and so the answer is 1. So this is the Laplace transform of delta t or the unit impulse function. 
And finally, we'll do the practice problem. Now, the practice problem part one only I'll do. It's a ramp function, RT is given by TUT. Now, I'm sure you know what is a ramp function, but let's just define a ramp function is a function. It is a straight line originating from zero and its value is zero for t less than zero. So the value of the ramp function is zero for t less than zero and the value is t for t greater than zero. So it's a t, t is a straight line with slope one. Okay, so the Laplace of t u t, again u t means that we are talking of the positive side greater than zero. So we write integral this t and multiply it by minus est dt. Now this multi, uh, integral is different because now these are the two functions of t. So we'll have to do it by integral by parts formula. And there are a couple of formulas, but I found this to be very easy. And it says that integral of AB is A integral of B minus integral of differential of A and integral of B. So let's apply this in, in, in our case. So what we are doing here, A is outside, so T is outside the integral integral of b so this is our b est is b so integral of e minus st dt so this is the first part minus sign integral of differential of a so integral of differential of a that is t our case and then integral of b so integral of this part b so after having written this now let's solve this t remains outside and the integral of e minus st dt is e minus st divided by s as we had seen in the previous slide. Similarly, now dt over dt is 1. This integral 1 multiplied by the integral of this part is e minus st over minus s and now we'll again take integral of this whereas we'll plug in the value of the limits in this first case. So we have learned that if you for infinity the value would become 0. For t this value will become 1 but since it is multiplying by t so it will become 0 because t is now 0. So that is why the first part is 0 minus 0 and the second part is we take 1 over s outside and then we take the integral of e minus st so e minus st this minus and minus sign will become plus and again integral of this we know is e minus st divided by s and we put the limit from 0 to infinity and solving for infinity this will become 0 and for 0 this will become 1 over minus s so minus minus again becomes plus so the answer is 1 divided by s square so this is the final answer so i hope uh, this gives you an idea as to how to solve the basics of uh, functions through laplace transform or what are the laplace transforms of basic function so if you find this video to be useful uh, may i request you that you subscribe my channel and share this to your friends Thank you.